The AP Nymph series is a legacy by the late Andy Puyans. The hook in the vise is a partridge, barpless ideal nymph hook, size 12. The thread is Benecci 12 volt in olive and I simply tie it on the eye, run it down to close to half the shank. I like to weight these nymphs with a bit of fine wire for the thorax portion only. Break off the excess. Now lock the lead wire down with turns of thread. For the ribbing, some fine wire is tied in. I like to keep it at the bottom of the shank. Thread is advanced to the end of the hook shank. What comes next makes the AP nymph series unique. It's the ingenious use of one material for the tail, the wing case, and the legs. I've put some uh, moose body hair in a stacker and I've even the tips. I'm using hair for this pattern, but the same approach is equally valid with uh, some hackle barbs or feather barbs. A relatively, a relatively short tail is tied in, and subsequently the thread is advanced to where the lead ended, taking the tail material along, but where it would normally be trimmed at this stage it's left. For the abdomen, use some dyed olive hair. Just put on as a conventional twist around a thread. When reaching the wing case portion, simply lift up the moose and wrap it to in front. It's now ready to run the ribbing in even. Tie it down. You can worry the thread away till it breaks the wire, rather. A little bit more hair is put on. Continue the taper and thicken the thorax slightly. Over the wire. Tie it 
tiny bit extra to cover up the the lead wire. Next, the mousse is pulled over into the wing case. cinched down. Three of the strands of moose are pulled off to the side. First my near side the far side. These will form the legs The remainder of the moose is trimmed at this stage. And a neat head is formed with a small amount of dubbing. Return, we're finished, completes the tying off. What remains is to trim the, the legs to length. I hold them close to the body and trim at the end of the thorax. And that completes an AP nymph. As said, uh, I have used moose in this case, but feather barbs are another way, and you can vary the coloration and even alter the taper to accommodate different shapes of naturals. An AP nymph.